Hey, what's up everybody? Caleb here with Abstract Auto Customs. Today I am showing you a short video of how I removed the entire cold side, uh, turbo included, off of my 2012 Kia Optima SX. All the parts I'm removing today are aftermarket. That includes my 3.5 inch cold air, or ram air intake, whatever you want to call it. Uh, that's running down to the turbo itself. Um, then the charge piping, I believe is two and a quarter coming off the turbo. I'm just kind of pulling everything off to set it aside. Then the center housing of the turbo itself is still OEM, but it's all modded. I uh, had everything machined out to fit a 20G wheel inside a TDO4 housing. So it's, it's pretty big. Um, I went from a 52 mil up to a 68. So this thing's really all top end now. And all the upgrades I've seen on these turbos have been from a 19T up to a 20T or a 22T, which are the 22T is close to the 20G, but I haven't ever any ever seen anybody else with a 20G yet. So this car is definitely unique for sure. Um, but yeah, it's just a basic wrenching video of me, uh, real time, just taking all the parts apart to start swapping out my exhaust manifold, which is the hot side of the turbo. And obviously I have to take off the oil feed line and the oil drain line today, which you'll see there are a couple of hoses. Um, the one I'm doing here in the video runs up from my oil catch can setup. Uh, I also have a vacuum line and... Oh, and then there's also two coolant lines running to the turbo as well. So when I pop those off, I just take, I loosen both lines and then I actually try to pop them off at the same time and I loop one back over to the other. So it stays on the car. Uh, I drip a little bit out of the turbo itself, but it's no big deal. It's not, not a substantial loss at all. So it makes a little bit of a mess when I'm swapping everything out, but it's no big deal. Um, but yeah, this is just a real-time video of me doing the cold side and Stay tuned for more. I will get the hot side swapped out. I have a custom up pipe that was made and Yeah, I'm swapping out the manifold itself, which has my other modded manifold going on and Lots of upgrades to come. So if you like what you see, I hope you guys enjoy and you want to come back for more Please like subscribe. You know what to do. Thanks. Have a good day
Sorry for the bad angles and the shaky camera. My phone only seems to like the work when it's actually in my hand. And obviously it's kind of hard to work in a car and hold a phone at the same time. So one day I'll figure it out. So on this back side, I'm actually removing a small C-clip right now off the electronic wastegate. The actuator rod that runs down to the hot side of the servo itself. And I actually used some stainless steel wire and wired it to the rod itself. That way I could just use a small pick and pop it off and not worry about losing it. I've had this car for so many years and I've lost a few of those clips. It's a real pain to try to find them. So, I learned the hard way several times. It was like the third time, I think. And I haven't lost one since, obviously. So, uh, but yeah, just a little tip if you guys have one of these cars.